Christine Bunrang, and this is the Beginner Bodyweight Tabata Level 2 Workout. If you watched my previous video, it was super beginner and I went over just the level one moves. We did four moves and today we're gonna be doing four moves as well, but I'm gonna show you the level two movement progressions. You're gonna be able to use both levels in today's workout. Today's workout is a Tabata. Now, if you don't know what a Tabata is, it's 20 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest for eight rounds. After you've completed those eight rounds, you're gonna have 60 seconds to recover until the next move. Now, let's get into the movement progression. Move one, level one, is the body weight squat. You're gonna bring your feet wider than the hip, just a little bit. Drive into the floor, chest up. Stand all the way, tailbone tucked. Squeeze the legs. Side view. Move one, level two, ball of foot squat. You're gonna go to that same foot stance. Come down, chest up. Now you're gonna come up high on ball of foot. Full hip extension. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Move two, level one, is the ellipse. You're gonna take it down to the floor, hands shoulder width apart, come down with arms extended. From here, come up at the top, arms long, tuck the tailbone, squeeze the glutes, find that elbow pinch, drive your forearms to the floor and hit back. Really get that spine to round. Move to level two is the knee push-up. So you can always find that position from the lips, child's pose. From there, that's where your hands and knees will go. Find that tuck of the tailbone and find the elbow pinch. Elbow locks at the top. Keep that spine round so you're pulling from the core, not just the arms. Move three, level one is the stationary lunge. Bring your feet hip width apart, high on ball foot on the rear leg. Elbow pinch, drive straight down like a piston, squeeze the legs at the top. Move three, level two is forward alternating step lunge. Feet on railroad tracks, elbow pinch here as well. You're gonna step one foot forward, press back. Nip the ribs down. Move four, level one is the bridge tuck. Take it down to the floor. Get tight like a ball, bringing your upper shoulder blades and head and neck off the floor. Drive feet, triceps down as you bring the hip up. Tuck the tailbone at the top, ribs down. Move forward, level two is hollow crunch. Get tight like a ball here, rounding your upper back. Extend the legs out, arms back. Make sure your low back stays flat into the mat. Squeeze the legs out. All right, are you guys ready? I am going to be setting the 15 Second Tabata timer. Make it loud. We're gonna place it right in front where you can hear it. You're gonna hear some dings. Five seconds. 
So we're gonna start with move one, which is the squat. Now I'm gonna teach you how to go through level one and level two. The main thing here is to focus on quality form. Just think of the first round as a warm up round. Time. Okay, round two. We're still on move one for eight rounds. I'm gonna show you ball of foot squat. Here we go.
Master the basics first. Three, two, one, time. Stand up. Okay, I'm gonna show you level two, the knee push up. Here we go. Get that elbow pinch into the ribs. Butt tight. Three, two, one, time. Finish up your last rep. Shake out the arms. Here we go. So maybe you're gonna be starting out with level two in this round. If things start to fry or you lose form, go ahead, regress to the ellipse. Okay, that's three down, five to go. Get back down and start. There is no rush. Ten seconds down. Time. Okay, we're halfway through the lifts, the push-ups for move two. Doesn't take too many rounds to burn out through the arms. That's why I'm regressing. Level one, 
You could stay on one side for the first round, then switch legs on the second round. Or you can always switch at the halfway sound as well, switching legs. Find what works for you. Squeeze at the top. Three, two, one, time. Shake out the legs. Okay, for round three, I'm gonna show you guys level two. Go, go, go. So if your knee touches the floor, just make sure you're kissing the floor with the knee or hovering it off the floor. Keep it smooth. Okay, round four coming up. Also make sure you're knitting the ribs down here. So we're not, so we're not arching from the low back. Three, two, one, time. I hope you guys are having fun. Moving the body, sweating a little. Here we go. Find the breath. Try to exhale. Short, sharp exhales on the effort. Nice. Remember, don't worry about the pace I'm going. Find your steady pace. You can go slower, go faster. Listen to your body. Round six. Ten seconds. Time. All right. Six down, two to go. We're more than halfway through the program.
hollow crunch. Round that spine as much as possible. As you extend the legs out. Time. Stand up. Whew. Three, two, one. Start. Find your level. If you start with level two, things start to burn a little. Things start to fall apart. Go ahead. Regress to level one. Explore those options. Time. I want you to stand up in between each round, if you can. You don't want the car to turn off. We want it to stay idling. I hope that's the right analogy. <laughs> Exhale as you expand. Your body's gonna inhale on its own. Two, one, time. Okay, we are four down, four to go. Let's do it, you guys got this. That's the sound. To go, to move. Steady pace. Burn. Time. Oh, stand up. <laughs> okay, round six here. If you're doing bridge tuck, knit the ribs down, tuck the tailbone at the top. That way there's no arch in the low back. All right, two left. In three, two, one, go for it. Stand up. One more. This is it, you guys. And gals. Again, last 20 seconds of work for the day, for this program.